Well, I'm Daniel and I'm 26 from Ghana. I'm from Elmina, you know, here in Ghana. And, and I'm Vaughn, <clears throat> excuse me, from Seattle, Seattle, Washington, and I am 59 years of age. And I now live here in Ghana since last year. We're engaged. Our wedding is in January. Mm. So, uh, okay, for me, at first, the age difference was a, a big deal for me because he would always tell me, quit worrying about the age, quit worrying about the age. But, you know, um, sometimes I forget he's 26 because of his personality, his, um, um, he's very mature for his age. I, that's what the word I'm looking for. And his conversations is not like no young person, you know. Um, I don't know what else you want to add mm -hmm. to that. <laughs> well, basically that is it, you know, because sometimes she used to tell me, you know, the age thing. I'm like, come on, don't worry, you know, age is just a number, you know. And it doesn't, to me, age does not determine the success of any relationship or a marriage, you know, between two people. Or it's just a gap between two people that, you know, needs to be, it shouldn't be a problem. But, you know, some people, you meet them, they'll be like, oh, no, you are young, you know. Being young depends on how you behave. You know, I could be 30, I could be 40. But if I'm not matured, uh, it doesn't make sense, you know. Right, because I've, I've met men that's my age, and I have to question them, how old are you again? Because, you know, um, they do some stuff, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, okay, I don't know what to think about this one here. But, you know, and I tell him I forget his age. When we talk, I respect him as a man. It has nothing to do with age, even with that. Like, I respect him as a man. And um, that's just where we're at. We have the communication, we have the respect for each other, and this is where we are. Okay. Now in Africa, before a man is engaged to a woman, they usually seek the consent of the family. Mm -hmm. So how is that for you guys? No, well, it's, 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 it's good because just last week my parents were here, you know, but she has met my parents on, you know, other occasions, other occasions, but they came to spend some time with us last week here, so. We cooked a big meal, invited them over, we sat down and just hung out and talked and stuff. My family is back in the U.S. Um, they knew about me dating. I just a couple of days ago told my kids that I'm getting married and they're all happy. And they're good. They want me to be happy. That's all they want. They just want their mom to be happy. Um, I know I mentioned to him how you know they supposed to, they you have to do the buy price and you have to ask this and that. And in the U.S. they want the, the 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 man to ask the father for the the hand of their daughter and stuff. But you know we're just we're just us. We just do what we do. You know we always tell everybody like me and him we have our own language. You know, we we talk and do things different our way, like what works for us. So, so you guys <laughs> now you have the consent of the family. Mm -hmm. Actually, if you don't tell anybody your ages, they wouldn't know they that you're fifty nine. Yes. But you look so young. I hope you know that. Yes. You look like thirty. <laughs> no, it run, I think it runs through her family because mm -hmm. even her mom was seventy plus, and her right. mom looks so young. Right. Is there any time you have had to face the challenges of people accusing your man of being with you for you know, right. what, okay, the, the, the greener, greener pastures? pastures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> people say, mention that to me, be careful, he's got in, he's young, you know, they you know, you know, they're oh this is what they really want. And I'm not gonna lie, like I had questioned that a few times myself and I've I've shared it with him. Like, you know, I I've always express myself freely with him about things that I feel and what I'm, what's on my mind and stuff. And, you know, but then I just, and so I, I'm one of those ones, I pay attention to everything, you know? And so I watched him very closely, the things he did, how he said it, what he does, how he treats me. And um, those things outweighed the negative thoughts that I had. And, um, even we had an incident not too long ago that he did and he traveled and he came back because he wanted to, that showed me how much he cared about me, you know. And it's not about anything else other than just how he feels. You guys are obviously happy and uh, that is what is important. Right. So do you have any advice for people out there that maybe 
you know, there's a man that loves you, but you're trying to like, you don't want to give him a chance because of age. The age. So do you have any advice for them? Yeah. No, well, I would just tell, usually it's the women that do have the problem or they'll be like, oh no, you are too young, you know, but it doesn't matter, you know, you can give the person a chance and once the person proves himself to be matured, that is it. Because like I said earlier, you could be with someone who is 30, 40, 50, but it's not matured, you know, so for me, I think maturity plays a very important role in every relationship. Right. And for me, I say... Because I had to probably just realize, you know, it's not as if I'm settling because I don't have to just settle because I always want what's best for me. But I also realized that, you know, sometimes we give ourselves too much um, expectations and we miss out on a lot of things because our expectations are too high. So then I just, I just tell myself, you know, enjoy it. Enjoy myself. I'm happy. He makes me happy. You know, we enjoy our moments together. We'll come across some problems like we do, like everybody else, and we'll get through them. And, you know, time will tell, but, you know, so far so good with us. We do have our problems, but like I said before, we, we do our very best, very, very best to not go to sleep with the problem. Because when we wake up to a new day, we want to wake up with no problems than only the ones that we have to face that day. We don't want to bring yesterday into tomorrow. So, um, a lot of people are curious to know, is it the man that invited you down to Ghana? Did you move to Ghana for his sake? So, we met last year. Okay, how did you guys meet? No, please? no, this yeah, year. Yeah, it was early this year. Early so, this we year. actually, we met on a business ground, right. you know. So, personally, I train dogs. You get it. So, I work with my boss. I have a boss. He's called Deepakis. I work with him, you know. So, he gave me a number to reach out to because... The person needed a dog trainer, and then I reached out to the number. I came, and then and that was how it all started. And, and, I, and so I was—I didn't even think about dating him or anything like that. And so he sent me a message the next day: "How's your day? How are you? You know, I'd like to come and hang out with you and and spend some time with you." And then he was like, uh, "My intentions is this. This is my intentions with so you." So I made it—I made it clear to him what I wanted. You know, beginning. right? right. He said, I don't know about what nobody else wants with you. If they haven't made their intentions clear to you, I'm making mine. So, you know, and I'm just like, okay, I hear you. Like, yeah. what's going on with you? Because I, 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 trust me, I don't want to waste my time, you know. So I tell all guys, if you want a woman, make your intentions clear to her. Make it known. That's it. If she wants you, if she doesn't, you know. Right. So you found love in Ghana. Yeah. Right. We met right in front of this house. That's where you were. That's where you were. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you supposed to come here to train the dog. Or right, yes. he came to assess my dog. And, and then the moment you saw her, you knew she was a yeah. woman. But she's not the first like American that I have met, you know, true dog training. I've met other American people. Okay. And even as I'm talking to you now, myself and her, we are training another American's dog right. as of now. Mm -hmm. You know, but it was just different meeting her and that was okay, it. So this has nothing to do with she being an American No, woman. she's not the first foreigner I have met in this business anyways. But like, you know, like from all you are saying now, you don't have any challenges that you're facing. Other than the usual relationship. No, we have. We have, you know, <laughs> language barrier. You know, sometimes she would say something, I'll be like, no, you are speaking English. You know, here in Ghana, we, we studied English. But I don't know for America, but I know they speak the English. But here in Ghana, we speak and then we learn it from your junior high school through to your whatever your tertiary you know we learn english so sometimes you'll be like you say something like no this is what you are saying like what you are saying this is what it means because you are speaking english you know and there's a lot of english you might think okay i'm a native i'm an english you know i speak english but the fact that you speak english you know sometimes I, we do have issues i'll be like no babe this is what you are saying this is what it means you know I'll say something i'm like okay so I say, well, okay, let me tell you, because what you're saying to me, what we, how we take that in America means this. So can we do, so we'll talk and we'll clear it up so we can both be on the same page about whatever it is that's being said, because it goes both ways. So I'll say something and he'll take it the wrong way. I'm like, that's not what I said. He's like, well, this is what I heard. And I'm like, no, let me rephrase it. And then we'll just, we'll change it up and and we'll get through it. So sometimes our a, 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 a five minute conversation can turn into a 20 minute. <laughs> so do you have <clears throat> any issues with the fact that your wife, your wife-to-be is coming to settle in Africa for good? Does it bother you? 
I don't have I don't have any problem with that at all because in fact you love that right because I feel like we don't have to go through any stress of you know the U.S. Um, embassy or whatever because I have friends that are married to Americans and then I know what they went through. Mm. But even meeting there, I always told them, for me, America is not a country that even if you give me a free visa, I would do. Mm -hmm. For me, growing up, it's always been Germany. It's always mm -hmm. been Germany, you know, so. And I tell people when, I'm, yeah. when they try to talk to me, I'm not, try, I'm not going back to America. Okay, yeah, I'm not going back right. to America. Right, so if you so, try to talk yeah. to me and you try to ask your, your, that's your, your goal, then it's not going to work with me. So I, I let that be known right up front and same with him, so he knew. That is not, I'm not going back there, like this, that wasn't an option. Okay, now that you guys are together, you're into a lot of businesses that you're building together. Right. How, do you have any, do you, any of you have any uh, fear as regards to, you feel free doing business together, mm -hmm. like running your businesses together, right? Mm -hmm. So, can you educate people more on that? How do you do that without, you know, mixing business with pleasure? How do you do that? Uh, I mean, it's been pretty simple with us, really, kind of, like, so, like, our 360, like, he, that's him. That's all him. I'll go if he needs some help, if he can't get nobody to go with him to help, because the machine, you see the machine is very heavy. Um, or just to go tag along, just to have something to do if I don't have anything else at that, that, that particular moment. Um, but that's his thing. That's what he handles that by himself. When it comes to people calling in, setting up appointments, paying, that's me. Mm -hmm. And then, and the same thing goes with his dog, dog business, you know, mm -hmm. when it comes to people making payments or I need to talk to them to set up the appointment. So she's like my manager. She manages oh, yeah. our home yeah, all so the time. Yeah, so everybody has to know right you play, right. the business. Right. You do that smoothly without yeah. any issues. No problems. Because Even when, we, when we met the American woman, you know, because when, when I come to your house, I charge you for coming. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I, I told the woman how much I'll charge her just to come and then look at the dog. So I did, and then she was. It was time to pay because I was done. Mm -hmm. So she was giving the money. I'm like, nope, <laughs> you give it to my fiance. You know, right. she manages a rate. Like a YouTube channel where you share your stories or something. Not yet, but we're starting. We will be starting very, very soon. Okay. And and because of this year, this is gives us our jump start too. So we're very happy and and pleased to to continue on and add because there's a lot to this. There's, you know, there's there's a lot. Children, if mm -hmm. um. Um, just there's so much the communication, mm -hmm. the um, everything. Just a lot. a lot of people want to learn from you guys, actually. They want to hear more, and we want to help, we want to educate because we've have had people call me. I had a couple, I had a couple guys from Ghana call me to ask me, How do I, as an American, how do I get past that? that barrier of what I've heard about the African men. Mm. You know, so he was one, because he wants to date, and he, he likes American women, but that's not his goal. It's not to get anything from him, but he's like, how does he find somebody that gets through that? So mm. to be able to do something like this is is is, is beautiful, and, and I'm happy to be able to do it, and we're ready to give the information out, you know, right. because we've seen other videos of other couples with this, you know, I don't know, their age gap might not be as big as ours, but it's still a gap. Mm. But they, they, they go through a lot of issues and problems and backlash from other people. But, you know, it's, it's doable. And then I see a lot of women, they, they say the same thing too. I want to, but the age, you know, mm. and they're scared. And I was that person too. But, you know, like I said, you just have to, at some point, if that person makes you happy and you guys can make it work, then, you know, don't miss out on that opportunity. Right. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. welcome. All right. Thank you guys. Bye. 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 <laughs> Thank you.